What we're going to be doing next is we're going to be using a simple programming language in order to do majority. We call this programming language AON for and or not straight line programs. It's going to look like Python, and in fact, on my machine, I'm just using Python. The way this works is all of our functions take in Boolean inputs. So we have these Boolean functions only within our programming language. And the only ones we're allowed to use are and or not. So that's where that AON comes from. So what we can do is we can apply and or not to inputs, assign those results to variables. We can reuse those variables as inputs to future and or nots. And then eventually we're going to return some resulting bits. Well, let's look at an example of majority implemented with and or not. I'm trying to define this majority function. This majority function is going to take three input bits, A, B, C. We need to give one output bit. So first of all, let's see what we expect the answer to be. What should be the answer of majority on 0, 0, 1? So the answer should be 0. And then for 1, 0, 1, since we have two ones, that answer ought to be one. The majority of those are a one. So we said that the way that we were going to solve this was to check all pairs, return true, or return one in this case, if any pair had both ones. So what we can do is we can have our first pair, we said that could be and applied to A with B. And then maybe we have the last pair, is equal to and applied on B and C. And then we had maybe the first with the last is equal to and applied to A with C. We want to check if any of these ended up being true. If any of those was one, then our whole answer should be one. So we can say the first pair with the last pair. So the first last pairs is going to be equal to the or of the first pair and the last pair. And then we want to return true for the majority, provided that the first last, or this result here, ended up being one. This is now in this and or not straight line programming language, the equivalent of that mathematical definition we saw for majority. Let's program some more things. How can we program NAND? What is NAND going to be? And yes. Yeah, so, so NAND is equal to, like, so NAND of, let's say, A and B, that is equal to the not of the AND. This is violating our program rules because we said you weren't allowed to nest these, or we didn't say you were allowed to. So the not of the AND of A and B. If I wanted to define what NAND meant in my straight line program, I would, let's say, define NAND on A with B. We have A and B is equal to the and of A with B. And then we can return the not of that result. We can also do XOR. So XOR is going to be true whenever exactly one is true. So exactly one of A and B is one, is when we make XOR one. I'm going to start by maybe computing not A and then not B. And I want to make sure that it's either the case that A is true but not B, or it's the case that B is true but not A. And either one of those is sufficient for the XOR being true. So we have a programming language. This is our programming language.